in this session of CCNA series, I will show you guys some of the features of wireless LAN controller using Packet Tracer. I'll start by creating a new wireless LAN on the controller and then securing the same wireless LAN, exploring the QoS section and then the advanced wireless settings. Also, I will configure two wireless devices to connect to the new wireless LAN through a lightweight access point that is managed by the WLC and then verify the connectivity between those wireless devices. Let's go ahead and hop onto the packet tracer. Here I have a WLC on the left with a switch in the middle and two uh, servers which will be acting as a DHCP for management and for wireless. And then I have a lightweight access point below and then two wireless devices which are not currently uh, connected to the, to the access point. So uh, WLC can be accessed through a GUI. So how we access a GUI? by uh, opening a browser on the admin laptop okay uh, let me show you okay uh, on the web browser let me type in the management IP address of the WLC along with the HTTPS protocol One ninety two one sixty eight 1.1 is the IP of the WLC so uh, it will allow me to log in when you type in the IP address and then put in the credentials. Okay, then it will take me to the main page. Here, uh, in order to create a wireless LAN, first thing you need to do is bind the dynamic interface to a wireless network. In case, if you do not know what a, what, what a dynamic interface is, it is an interface that connects WLC to a uh, VLAN on the wired network. So let's go ahead and create a dynamic interface. To create a dynamic interface, click on the controller tab and then select the interfaces option. So already we have a management interface and a virtual interface which are available by default. So to create a new interface for the wireless network which we are going to create, click on the new button on the top right corner and assign an interface name. So let me assign it as test and then assign the VLAN ID. It depends on whatever VLAN you are using here. I have used VLAN 10 and then click on apply which will allow me to edit it more further. Here we will be adding uh, the IP address. So I'll assign the IP address as 10 and then subnet mask and then the gateway. The gateway will be our layer 3 switch. And then the DHCP server for assigning the IPs. 192.168.10.2 is the IP address of the DHCP server. We can verify this over here. This will be our server 10.2. Okay, and I have assigned it as .2. These are the basic configuration. Also, we need to assign a port number on the packet tracer. And then click on apply. So with that, uh, we finished the interface configuration. Let's go ahead and create a new VLAN. Uh, sorry, wireless LAN. So on the WLC, uh, I, I clicked on the WLAN tab. And then it took me to the page where I can create a new wireless LAN. Select create new and go. Click on go. Then you can assign a profile name and then SSID which I will use same as I have uh, used for interface and then there's another option of assigning an ID for the wireless LAN. This value is a label that will be used to identify the wireless LAN. So here I will keep it similar to the VLAN that is VLAN 10 and apply. So this creates a wireless LAN. Now, now that uh, we have created the wireless LAN, let's enable the wireless LAN to make it functional and assign uh, the interface that will be binded to this wireless LAN. There are two interface options available. One is management and one, the, one is for the one which we created. So I will attach this one and then save the settings. Then we can see we can verify the same 
uh, by clicking on wireless LAN it will list the wireless LAN here wireless LAN ID the type the name of the wireless LAN SSID whether it's enabled and over here if you can see uh, there are security policies by default the new wireless LAN currently has no security in place okay so let's go ahead and configure the wireless LAN security click on the wireless LAN ID to edit the wireless LAN and then click on the security tab here you will see the options available layer 2 layer 3 or triple layer server so uh, under the layer 2 security drop down menu select the i mean suitable security scheme to use from the option we have uh, wpa plus wpa2 is the strongest so once you select it you will get the options below the parameters what are the key we are going to use so i will select wpa2 policy and it will enable AES and TKIP and then I will use a pre-shared key and I will put the password as password and then save the configuration so this will enable security for the wireless LAN so uh, also we have a QoS option similarly uh, to edit the QoS click on the QoS tab to configure the quality of service settings and then by de actually by default the controller will consider all frames in the wireless LAN to be normal data to be handled in the best effort manner so you can set the quality of service settings here but unfortunately uh, this packet tracer, tracer version doesn't allow us to change or do any configuration for QoS then we have advanced wireless LAN settings uh, here you can enable functions such as client exclusion client uh, over here you can see or you can uh, limit the clients or uh, per wireless LAN you can uh, limit the clients and so on actually um, these advanced settings are beyond the scope of the Cisco uh, I mean CCNA curriculum so let's just quickly finish this also we have to enable this option so that uh, access point can locally switch the traffic between uh, the users and authenticate them and click on apply to save this so we are done with the basic configuration settings let's go ahead and see if uh, if the wireless devices are connected if the wireless devices are connected you will see a wave sign between the access point and the uh, wireless device let me hop onto the laptop and enable first SSID which we have configured as test and then enable the security and put the password as password so this will enable the wireless and then let's see if the device is connected here you can see the wireless device is connected similarly we will connect the tablet as well let me put in the SSID test and then enable the pass P A S S W R D and then check if the device is wireless device is connected here you go the wireless device is connected and I hope the IP address is also assigned as well as you can see it has assigned the IP address from that subnet 192.168.10.0 let me see the IP address on the tablet okay here we got IPS.6 let me go ahead and ping the IP there you go I can ping the tablet from my PC through this wireless access point that's it for this session I hope this was informative for you thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe thank you